This is the May 2023 premium going gear box right here. Well, technically it's a package this month. So let's see exactly what is in this month's May package for going gear. Always need to be careful slicing into these boxes because I don't wanna cut what's ever in here, but I'm having a hard time. This thing is packed. So let's just take out this first thing right here. This is a Cancept knife. So let's see what model this is. Just says Cancept. Oh, this is the Cancept Corvid, as you can see right there. And yes, I know they send a cheat sheet inside the Going Gear packages here. Um, I will dig that out momentarily. So what's in this right here? Okay, cleaning cloth and maybe some other Cancept knives. But let's just throw all this off to the side here and let's check out the knife here. Actually, the packaging here is fantastic. I love this. You rarely see packaging like this. I know it's a throwaway item, but still, something's to be said about the opening experience. So let me just toss everything over there. <laughs> Look at this thing. Holy crap, that's Micarta. Rear flipper, you got that rear flipper tab right there. And wow, pocket cleaver. So I own a few Cancept knives, but not many folders like this. And I definitely don't own pocket cleavers such as this. I love this. And look at the color variation right here on this Macarter, that darker tan right there compared to the bottom. And let's turn it around. Yeah, that's more of a white shade. I'm guessing this is natural Macarta. Let me get that cheat sheet out here. So of course it was on the bottom of that package, but this is the Cancept Corvid M, $69.95, designed by Justin Cook. It's a medium-sized folding cleaver knife, 2.45 inch blade, made of durable 154 CM steel. All right, so it's a brown Macarta handle, but you know, that can easily be mistaken for natural Macarta. It also has a black titanium coated blade. Uh, let me just take a look at this. So this deep carry pocket clip right here, this black deep carry pocket clip, and it's not, inset as you can see there, but I do like that it has this little lanyard attachment right there at the end. And when I say lanyard attachment, I'm not even talking about the actual lanyard attachment. Sometimes I like to put the lanyard attachment right there at the end of my pocket clip. So it looks like black stainless steel liners and a liner lock and some pretty aggressive jimping right there on the spine of the blade. And let's check out the action here. So do I have any drop shut? Not really, but I'll adjust that pivot slightly and that flip is actually very nice and if you don't want to use that flipper tab there are thumb studs on each side of that blade but overall a very nice pocket cleaver i don't own many pocket cleavers such as this especially with this black blade brown micarta i like it 70 bucks but let's move on and see what else is inside here and it looks like another knife this is an srm knife i don't see any information on the outside other than model 9225-kb right there let's just take it out instead of messing around looking at the box some more srm knives i am a fan of srm i do have a bunch of their knives very nice budget knives very high quality for the price and holy crap, look at this thing. So right off the bat, I'm loving this carbon fiber look on the outside. Um, I'm hoping it's real carbon fiber, possibly some G10 right there. And a very Olight looking pocket clip right there. You can see it has that Olight blue. It's like it's milled out a little bit just for weight purposes, I'm guessing. And yes, it is deep carry, except for that little piece sticking up right there with the lanyard attachment, you can see that. And it also has SRM's version of the crossbar lock. So let's just see, oh, it's a front flipper. So let's give that a try, very nice. So I do like the looks of this. My taste in pocket knives are a little bit more traditional. So I don't have a lot of knives that look like this. I would say more futuristic with all these cutouts on the handle and the blade, but I'm digging it. Let's take a look and see what the name is here. This is the SRM. Mecca 9225, $52.95. It has a 3.25 inch D2 blade. And let's see the handle material. It's not really telling me the handle material here. And there's nothing about it on the box. So I'm gonna have to do some research when I'm editing this video and I'll put on the screen what this handle material is made of. But let's check out the action. Front flip. Ah, 
See, sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm not. There we go. And all right, very cool. So $52.95, the SRM Mecca. So this is awesome. I pulled out two items and both of those items are knives. You cannot go wrong with that. I'm loving it. All right, let's see what else is next. This big box right here. Oh, look at this. This is an Ace Beam Defender P17. I don't own this light yet, so I didn't do a review on the P17, but I did do a review on the P15 and I did like that light a lot. So let's open this with the new Mecca knife that I pulled out of this box. Ace Beam has such nice packaging as well. Uh, user manual, warranty information, jeez. And let's take out the light itself. It's like it comes with, you know, USB charging cable, Type-C, some spare O-rings, all the huge. So let's give you a close up of the Defender P17, wow. So it looks like it has a gunmetal gray body instead of the standard black, I'm loving this gunmetal gray look right here. And check out this aggressive crenellated bezel. Let's take off that plastic piece right here. I'll give you a look right down the barrel. I'm not exactly sure what emitter that is. Oh, there we go. So this is more of a tactical flashlight, no side switch. It does have dual tail switches, on off button, and most likely their mode switch button right there. And let's open it up and take a look. Yeah, that's what I wanted, a little tab. It's like a 21700, 5100 milliamp hour um, IMR 21700 MP type C lithium ion rechargeable battery. And yes, this is an Ace Beam branded and yeah, you can charge it right there from the outside of the battery. Is there a way to charge this from the body itself? I don't think so. So it looks like the only way to charge this battery is from the battery itself or just plop it in an external slot charger if you guys have one. So let's read about it here. The Ace Beam P17, $119.95. Says this is on the larger side of EDC, so are they considering this an everyday carry flashlight? This to me looks more of a tactical style flashlight, especially with that aggressive bezel and those dual tail switches, but hey, it has a Cree XHP 70.3 LED. So that's what the emitter is right there. Uh, the lumen output is 4,900 and 1,459 feet of throw on this bad boy. That is awesome. And it goes on to talk about the battery, which we just took a look at. So let's test out this beam here real quick. So on and off, give you a look at that beam. So it's definitely, definitely a cool white beam right here. You can see that. Hopefully you can see that on this gray desk and switch the modes. Wow. So that is bright. So hopefully maybe that's a moonlight mode, low, medium, and high. So yeah, that is an ultra low at five lumens. Low is 90, medium is 580, steps down to 90, and high is 200, steps down, sorry, 2000, and steps down to 1250 lumens. Oh, you know what? I was reading this wrong. So there are three different modes here. So there's a daily mode, tactical mode, and tactical mode two. I'm in daily mode, so it's not ultra low. It starts with low, medium, high, and this is turbo. This is our 4,900 lumens. You get about 40 seconds of turbo, and then it steps down to 1,250 lumens, and then it steps down again to 90 lumens. And then you can see right here, it has the different modes right there with the different UI. So this is awesome. This looks pretty in depth. Um, I might or might not do a review on this, depending on how I like it. Um, I am currently out of town working. I'm just back temporarily for Memorial Day weekend and decided to do this video because I just got the Going Gear Club package in. But when I come back in a few weeks, I might take this outside and do some beam shots. But let's move on. There's not much left in this box. I keep calling it a box. Not much left in the package. There's two left. Wow. And then of course the standard stickers, the going gear stickers right there. I'll just put those off to the side. So this looks like an oversized coaster, but I'm guessing this might be a going gear branded wooden valet tray. At least that's what I would use it for. So according to the cheat sheet, this is a infinity cuts and creations five by five wooden tray just designed for your everyday carry item. So yeah, this is just basically a wooden valet tray for wallet, phone, whatever you want to put on it. Very nice. I like that Going Gear branded logo right there. 
Very cool, so $14.95 for this bad boy. And then the last thing in the package is this guy right here. This is a Frontline Medical Defense Adventure Mini EDC kit. So this is just a first aid kit that's vacuum sealed. You can see that right there. So it comes with two two by two sterile pads, one four by four sterile pad, um, one pair of gloves, large, one two inch conforming gauze, one basic Band-Aid pack, uh, two sting swabs, two alcohol prep, one CPR mask, a thermometer, and a basic med, whatever the heck that means. But things like this, I don't really like to open until I need it. So I like to keep it nice and fresh, vacuum sealed, put it right in my car with the other first aid gear that I have there. And I'm sure you guys won't be upset. You already know what Band-Aids and gloves look like. So. What do you guys think of the May 2023 Going Gear package here? So we have the Valet Tray, the Ace Defender P17, the that is the SRM Mecca, the Cancept Corvid right here, the little pocket cleaver, and the medical kit. So very solid this month. In my opinion, anytime you can pull out some pretty solid knives, especially knives that you don't own and a flashlight that you don't own, especially this. This looks gorgeous. I'm loving this gray body with the black bezel right here. Definitely liking this flashlight. Now, if you guys are interested in the Going Gear EDC Club, either the normal package or the premium package, which is what I have right here, I'll put all that information down below in my description box. But that's pretty much it. I'm gonna edit this video, jump in my car, drive about three hours, work for another few weeks, come back and uh, make some more videos for you guys.